So I do have a question for you. How do you feel about the neck? Do you feel like men's physique gets a lot of negativity and kind of hate for being like, you know, how the different levels, like, you know, how bikini and then women's physique oh. figure and all that. Do you feel like men's physique gets a lot of heat? Oh, absolutely. You know, it, it's, yeah, and I'm not trying to talk down on it, but it, it's extremely inconsistent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it seems like they have a set standard, but the set standard never really gets followed through with. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just kind of hard to say like, okay, well, what do they want? How do I know that I'll do well this show or not mm -hmm. well this next show? Like, it, it's just kind of, it, it's hard to- Makes it hard to prep for. It, it really does. Yeah. Like, you know? what do I work on? What are they gonna like? What aren't they gonna like? Yeah, or, yeah just true. You know who you're competing against. So you don't know if you need to be fuller or if you need to be mm -hmm. less full. It's just kind of mm -hmm. one of those things you just kind of have to show up and hope your look is what they yeah. want. Well, and that's like a common question that people ask is like, what are the judges looking for? And like you just said, it just kind of depends who shows up because you don't know if there's going to be a more the skinnier look or there's going to be that really full upper body look. It just depends kind of who's there and how many people have that similar look. Yeah. Yes. I think uh, for the most part, and I kind of do hope a lot of the judges see this, but I think they all need to kind of have a sit down and look at a lot of the top competitors or look at the Olympia lineups and be like, all right, yeah. this is kind of the look we want. Everybody needs to follow and adhere to these standards. And I don't know if that's happened or not. So I feel like they do do that once in a while. And then it just, it, it starts here and then just goes, do whatever. Yeah. 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 I, I think every division each. Yeah. Each region kind of has their, their judge where they kind of like their own look. And yeah. 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 When we talked with uh, Matt Grego and Chiron Holden, they like had no idea what the judges are looking for because it's just yeah. so different. It is. You yeah. can't because they can be consistent over three shows and then that fourth one, totally different. That's yeah. true. One after that, totally different from the last two. And then it's like, okay, well, now yes. we don't know what to expect by the end of the year. Yeah. Do you guys feel like you obsess over what you think the judges are going to expect? No? Well, that, that is one thing I've never done. Um, okay. I've never been caught up or focused on what the judges want. I've always just been focused on building what I want to look mm -hmm. like and, and focusing on that. And yeah, that's why, like when I did this last Olympia, I was I'm like, Hey, if I get third call out, so be it, you know, I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. too stressed. If I place last, I'm not too stressed. Like I'm going to keep focusing on building okay. what I want. If the judges don't like it, then it just means it's not the division for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, he's consistently been that way through every single show he's done the last few years. Like, yeah. Not even he doesn't really even waste time on that. He's like, I'm gonna work on what I think my weaknesses are and bring mm -hmm. my best package. And See, I like that. Yeah. You can enjoy it more. I feel like if you do it that way, you absolutely can. Because you know, when you start focusing on what the judge want, or and I, I don't want to say like I'm, I'm, you know, a competitor. Like I do hold myself to a standard, and obviously mm -hmm. I do want to win, but it's not everything to me. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's where a lot of people might see it as a downfall. Mm -hmm. I think he has like I think he has a really good mental balance. Like from an outside perspective of watching someone that does what he does, I think you know instead of letting things that don't turn out perfect, or you know like regardless of the surprise whether it's good or bad as far as how it turns out, he's always balanced. Yeah. Like it's all kind of. I'm going to control what I can and the things I can't, it's out of my hands anyway. Mm -hmm. Because if you like take a look at your stats at, for the Olympia, it, like you go from like third to 10th to just like bouncing all around. And yeah. it, I can see how that just gets really frustrating because you can't like see what the judges are looking for. You don't know what they want. And yeah. And you know, at that level, it's just like kind of nitpicking at the details, you know, mm -hmm. and you get to that all right, well, what do I need to work on? You feel like you kind of like max out and there's like, well, come in a little bit sharper. And yeah. then you look at the guy who was like first and I was like, well, I think I might've been sharper than the guy who was first. So like, what else do I need to work on? <laughs> yeah, it's just kinda, you know, either your looks what they want or your looks not what they want. Yeah. Do you think it, it all has to do with also like what is leading up to the show? It's not just solely the Olympia, but it's also what you placed outside of it and leading up to it. I think that definitely influences it. Like, you mm -hmm. know, if you're somebody who's, consistently placed well, you're probably gonna get looked at a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Or if you've done a lot of shows, they're gonna be like, all right, I remember this person, you know? So I think it's easier to glance or take an extra look at somebody you've seen more consistently or somebody that you know has done well consistently. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. versus somebody like me, I, I tend to do one or two shows a year, if that. <laughs> so now going off that, can you tell us what your plan is for competing this year? Oh, well, I. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm here. Why? I'm, really, I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. So I, I haven't. When does this air? Uh, this will probably be on like Monday or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. All right. I, I haven't announced it yet, but I'm actually stepping away from men's physique and I'm going to work on, on building my physique up and doing a classic show by oh my. late spring, yeah. summer time. What? So. It's, oh, something, it's something that I think will, like, I feel like it'll bring back some fire. In mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have that fire. Um, yeah. I really don't. I've lost it over the years. I just kind of, I felt like I don't really have anything to prove. Mm -hmm. um, you know, now the only thing I, I need to do is kind of just hold myself to the goals that I've set. And, you know, since classic physique was announced, I've always been like, this seems like an awesome division. I like to do that. And every mm -hmm. year it's like, it's if you keep competing, you're never going to have that time to progress the way you need to. So mm -hmm. you realistically just have to step away for a little bit. And yeah. I think All you'd right. be so awesome. In, like classic physique, just because you do have such that yeah. snatched waist and then yeah. you have such a full upper body. Yeah. And, and like I said, my, my thing is I'm being very realistic with it. You know, I, I, you know, obviously my legs, I feel like I've made great improvements, but they're not where they need to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a year, though, I feel like I can get them to a point where people can see me on stage and they'd be like, there's potential. Like, I'm not there to go and try to win my first classic physique show or anything. My goal is to just get up on stage and have people be like, all right, this is where he belongs. Yeah. And, and are, go from there. Are you looking forward to getting like your own like posing routine? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, That's the one thing I'm curious about. Yeah. Is yes. Move like that, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I hear so many, you know, some songs. I'm just like, oh my god, this song would be like amazing to pose to. Like, I could picture myself like hitting poses to certain like beats or, you know, certain aspects of songs. And I'm just like, that'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you was, know, uh, what's up? I was gonna say I was talking with my coach uh, Terrence uh, the other day, and he started taking up uh, dance classes that he's gonna be incorporating into his posing. That's so uh, smart. Yeah. Uh, see, like That's Terrence so is a perfect example. You know. I, heard this song and I was just like, oh man, like this song needs to be on a routine. I messaged Terrence and I was yeah, like, yeah, he was like, Can anyone I was like, if, if anyone does it, it's gotta be him. Cause oh, wow. the way he poses, you know, mm -hmm. when he gathers routines, it's beautiful. And I'm like, you gotta do it justice. So <laughs> hopefully I don't embarrass myself too much, but. <laughs> oh my gosh, not even. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I, I, I think like I said, I, you. like, a year of good work, I think I'll, I'll be able to, you know, present something decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So you're since you're, I mean, you're you're gonna announce it. it's gonna be announced in this video. Yeah. Does that mean the Olympia? You're not doing this year. You're not doing it this year. So I was I was like I think nine weeks out from the Tampa or ten weeks out from Tampa Pro when I made the decision. Um, mm -hmm. So I was starting prep and I talked to my coach because, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, uh, the last couple of years I've just kind of, I guess you could say, fallen out of love. With the process mm -hmm. and training and all of that, um, it, it, it turned wasn't making it happen. Yeah, it turned more into a job. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, you know, I was kind of restricted, restricted in the gym too, as to how hard I can push myself. Yeah. So um, I talked to my coach about it, and he was super excited about it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, behind me one hundred percent because he thought that was the original plan. Mm -hmm. Working together. Um, like I said, when I tell you guys, I was not expecting to do all this Olympia. I had already planned. He was not, like, <laughs> yeah. we were in the hotel the day before and he was like, you know, he was getting ready and getting his stuff kind of lined up for the day. And he was like, look, we're going to do this. And then I'm done. Like, yeah. this is going to be it. I'm going to show them what I brought and then we're, we're going to go home. And that's going to be it. Well, I mean, he was like, he was like, accepted. You're mentally that was the level he was at. Yeah, he I was, mean, I wasn't, I wasn't necessarily checked out. It's just like okay. uh, to, you know, kind of do something that I was going to be excited about again. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, after talking to my coach about it and him being 110 on board and excited too, it was just kind of like, all right, well, let's just work towards that and, you know, call the Mrs. Z thing done. <laughs> and said, I have yeah. nothing to prove to anybody. I And I don't know. think he would have kept bringing, like, 
more improved packages every year if he's like internally just not there. Like yeah. if you got no passion and it's not making you want to do it, then I mean, eventually you're just going to burn out. That's yeah. true. And so. there was, like I said, with, with my physique, you know, I was considered one of the bigger, I guess you could say, men's physique guys, even though I'm a very short guy and, a, you know, like not a lot of weight on stage. Mm -hmm. But um, the way I carried everything, my proportions made me look a lot bigger. You're full. You're very always full. Yeah. So it's like, all right, well, I can't really come in bigger. Whoa. Mm -hmm. What else do I need to work on? You know, bigger back. And just, I really don't know because I don't know the direction men's mm -hmm. physique is going in. So I get that. So it's yeah. almost like you get to a point where you're doing the same thing over and over again. You're like, what more can I do at this point? Yeah. yeah. It almost it was. makes it boring. And it's like, you don't want to do too much and then make mm -hmm. big. And it's just yeah. like. So I figure why not get excited about training again and work on new. progressing and try to make that move up to class of physique. Uh, yeah. Does this mean you get to eat more? I am eating that? right now and it is hard. No, I know. <laughs> really? <laughs> like 40, I was like, I think I'm going to start blooding my meals. How, how many, uh, how many uh, calories do you have every I'm day? I'm not sure, but like right now, like on my high day, I'm doing 300 grams of rice per meal with six ounces of protein. Um, yeah, can you imagine? I'd be it's, laying on the couch. It's, it's, it's <laughs> not really insanely high, but it, for me, because I have no appetite, I'm working on trying to get that back. Uh -huh. Um, it's hard. So, I'm not yeah. like per meal. How many meals? Oh, uh, that's six. Yeah. So it's too much rice. That's yeah. So much rice. <laughs> so much rice. I mean, that's about three. I want to say like three or so, three to four cups of rice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Per meal. So, uh, it adds up. <laughs> Terrence has me on the gaining phase just because I want to keep getting bigger and I'm having just over 3,500 calories every day. Whew. And that's really been a lot. Uh, yeah, for sure. But I want to know, uh, how tall are you? Five, and six. Do you know what the weight, weight cutoff will be for you? I want to say somewhere around one high one seventies to one eighty. Um, but like I said, right now I'm stepping on stage at one fifty three. Yeah. That's so, insane. So you have a lot of room. I have a lot of room to grow. I still have 20, at least 25 pounds to add to my frame. I can't even imagine what he will look like with 20 yeah. pounds on his frame. Yeah. 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 When when that time comes, I feel like we can get you back on and you'll take up the whole camera because you're just trying to move that weight down into my legs. And yeah. Back. So I don't I don't like, need a week back by any means, but it's mm -hmm. definitely those areas where I, I want to improve alongside it. I don't need a bigger chest. Um, I think everything else up top flows relatively well. And uh, if I can get even a couple of inches into my legs, I, I think that would change everything drastically. So.